In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create five water dripping options infographic slide in PowerPoint. And this is how the slide works. When I click, you can see here the water dripping design for the first option. And then I have added the option number one with the title and the detailed text. And on my next click, it will show me the water dripping design for the second option with some different color than the option number two, the title and the detailed text. And on my next click, it will show me the option number three, then the option number four. And on my last click, it will show me the option number five. So you can see here, I've just created this water dripping design. And if you want, you can just make something like this also, wherever you want, you can place this water dripping design. So let's see how to do this in PowerPoint. Add a new slide and go to insert. I'm going to add five rectangles for that. Go to shapes, select the rectangle, draw the rectangle. Maybe this much size and later on we can increase or decrease the size shape outline, make it no outline. And I'm going to give some different color here. Again, press Ctrl D. You can see here, I'm just going to give some a lighter color. Then again, Ctrl D, give some different color. Maybe I'm going to use this color, teal color. Press Ctrl D and this would be some more, uh, maybe I'm going to use maybe this color. And lastly, Ctrl D and make sure that this is also aligned properly and I'm going to give some kind of a blue color. So maybe this color also I'm going to use maybe the same color. So you can see here I have added five rectangles of different colors. The next thing I'm going to draw the water dripping effect or the water dripping design for that go to insert shapes and from the lines I'm going to select this one which you can see here the curve select the curve and from the first rectangle you can start from here and just give some you can see here some random clicks so that it should look that the water is dripping something like this you can see here and then bring it on top and then I'm just going to attach this one you can see here I'm just going to attach this one the moment I attach this one that it turns blue you can see here let me just show you once again when I bring the cursor closer to this one otherwise what will happen here if you don't do that one it won't look good so here you can see here shape outline make it no outline and shape fill I'm going to give the same color here so you can see here this water dripping effect and if you want to do some changes you can right mouse click edit points and you can just change something like this also whichever way for example I want to be more curved at the bottom again right mouse click edit point you can see here I can just make it something like this you can see here I can move it something like this I can make it now so this is the for the first one now I'm going to do the similar for second third and fourth as well as uh, fifth so go to insert shapes I'm going to select the curve again and from here for the second option I'm going to start from here maybe I want to use some different shape you can see here just randomly you need to click and how much size you need you can think of that one and then take this out and again attach it and shape outline make it no outline and shape fill I'm going to give the same color here so let me just draw for the third go to insert shapes select the curve one and this time I'm going to start from here you can see here like this I'm going to do it 
maybe the more you click, the how much size you need, you can just think of doing that one. And then again, attach it. Shape outline, make it no outline, and I'm going to give this teal color. So likewise, you can do for the fourth one. Again, go to insert shapes, select the curve shape, and I'm going to start from here maybe i can just do a smaller one here again smaller here it is blue that's the reason you're not able to see it maybe we can change the color later but anyway let me just attach it shape outline no outline and shape fill i'm going to give the same color so you can see here you can adjust it you can increase it whatever you want you can do with these shapes so once the design is ready, what you can do is you can just select this one and hold the shift key, select this, uh, uh, the dripping shape, control G to group it. You can see here, then I'm going to select the second one and again, select this control G and then you can just say, send this to back. You can see here, and then I'm going to select this and this again, first of all, group it. And then again, you can, you can see here, you can send this to back and then i'm going to select this control g and again send this to back and here the last one send to back so you can see here it is now one group then it's time to add the text go to insert text box i'm just going to say zero one here make it the font as white i'm going to give some shadow effect any font of your choice you can choose and increase the size you can see here center align and then you can add the detailed text here if you want you can add the title also equals l-o-r-e-m within bracket this will give me some latin text and then again this also white i'm going to choose the same font reduce the size maybe to 10 you can see here then I'm just going to select this both press control D to duplicate this one I'm going to add one here you can see here control D I'm going to add one here and reduce the size you can see here and I'm going to select this control D bring it here and give maybe a black color this one I'm going to move it to the other side and this one I'll bring it here maybe right align you can do it so this will be two you can see here I'm just going to add the option two here so this will be three you can see here and then one more I'm just going to copy which is the fourth one maybe i'm going to copy this Control d to duplicate it you can see here this will be four and this is your text so you can see here uh, we have added this uh, five options so this would be the five one uh, with a water or the paint dripping effect and if you want you can do a small animation also for this so let me just add some quick animations to it uh, go to the animations tab enable the animation pane i'm going to select the first rectangle along with this one it is already grouped and then i'm going to add animation go to more entrance effect i'm going to select stretch you can see here click ok and the effect options you can make it from top so it comes something like this and then i'm going to select the option number one i'm going to give a fly in fly in effect options say from left and this should happen after previous and then you can select this one for this also you can give the same effect add animation go to more entrance effect stretch you can see here okay and stretch just say from left something like this and this should happen with previous so if i play it comes something like this you can see here now it's very easy for me using the animation painter i can copy the animations to the other objects so for this i'm going to select the first option the 
the rectangle then go to the animation painter click on the second one you can see here the animation copy to the second one and then i'm going to select the option number animation painter click on the second option number and this one effects i'm going to make it from right you can see here then i'm going to select this animation painter and again from this for this also i'm going to select from right so it's pretty easy for me i can just select this one again animation painter click for the third one and then i'm going to select this animation click on this and then this again i'm going to click on this so likewise you can just do for the remaining so let me just play how it looks so it comes like this you can see here and then you can do the similar animation for the option four and five that's it from me friends thank you for watching my youtube channel and don't forget to subscribe powerpoint university see you soon with more interesting stuff till then goodbye